What is up, people? First things first, let's address the obvious. I look like poop. I look like crusty, dusty, three day old poop. But we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that right now. <laughs> so as you probably already know from the title of this video, I am going to be showing you my quarantine glow up. And maybe you can glow up with me. Learn some tips and tricks. You're probably already better looking than I am, so I love you, you're so pretty. But yeah, honestly, recently I've just been slacking my looks, clearly. Cause like, honestly, like what is the point in getting ready for anything? I'm not going anywhere. But yeah, I just decided to take you guys on this journey with me. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll feel a little bit better about ourselves. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing to glow up is fixing this monstrosity. Look how badly my roots have grown out. Also, my hair is greasy. Please don't get sick of the sight of me. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I haven't done my roots since before Christmas. So it's been quite a while. It's been about two months. After the roots are done, we're gonna tan. Do the eyelashes. Take some sexy ass Instagram photos. But yeah, I will take you through step by step on how I do my roots. Um, again, please do not like take everything I say with a pinch of salt because I'm probably not doing it right. Um, but it does work for me. I've been doing it since like what, March? Literally the first lockdown. I've been doing it about a year. Um, so it does work for me, but I'm not gonna guarantee it works for everyone else. Okay, so I just changed into a t-shirt because I get way too hot when I bleach my hair. So I'm gonna put a towel around my neck and clip it at the front. So first things first, the bleach that I use is the Wella Blondor Professional Bleach and this is the multi blonde one but I just looked up best bleaches and this is what came up. So I bought this one. And for a developer, I use a 30 vol developer. I made a video a while back and I put it on TikTok of me doing my roots, like the last time I did my roots back in December. And I had so many like hairdressers being like, your hair is chemically damaged. Like how could you use 30 vol? I would never use a 30 vol on my clients. I'm like, okay, who said I was a professional? Cause I didn't. Second of all, does my hair look damaged? Maybe it does, but it's not. I don't think so. Anyways, my hair isn't falling out, so I don't really care. Next, moving on to toner. I don't really know if this is like an actual toner, um, but I use the Alpha Parf Color Wear um, in 10.21. This is a really, really like silvery, icy blonde. And for the developer for the color wear, I got the Alpha Parf. I don't know how to pronounce that. Someone try and pronounce that. Five Vol developer, and that's just for this. You would need barely any with this. Other things that I use is the Fenola No Yellow Purple Shampoo, the Fenola nutri care conditioner i also have this vanilla no yellow hair mask and you put this on after you use the shampoo i also got these brushes and um, this one broke but like the actual brush part works fine and a mixing bowl off of amazon i don't know how much it was, it was like four euro maybe that's why it broke but i'm just gonna mix the bleach together now i put in quite a generous amount because I use quite a lot of bleach, clearly I have a lot of hair. So this is the type of consistency we have right now. So I'm just gonna make sure my hair is evenly split down the middle with this. So I'm just gonna section off a small piece first. I like to do it in strips. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it like this. Maybe it's okay I'm doing it like this. We'll never know. So I'm gonna start back here, go up here, and then I'm gonna do the other side. So when I was like looking up how to do this, I also looked up fails on bleaching. <laughs> just so I could know what might possibly happen if I did this wrong. And I saw a few girls who just didn't do under here. And so obviously there was just like random brown or black or whatever color hair streaks in their hair afterwards. And I've been traumatized. So please make sure you do under here. <laughs> God, do they ever shut up? Sheila! <sighs> okay, so I'm not gonna film this whole thing. You clearly know the gist of what happens. I just do this throughout my whole head. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished and then I'll take you through the rest of my process. So 
So all the bleach is on. Um, clearly like up at top it's completely developed basically. So I'm just gonna wait for the rest to develop. Um, it's kind of burning the back of my neck but that's fine. Okay, so you're in my bathroom and I'm about to wash out the bleach. I'm nervous. I've done this so many times but I'm so nervous. I got bleachy water in my eyes. <laughs> I can see how yellow it is. I've done this so many times, like, every time I do this, I know it comes out yellow, but I'm still so scared to look at it. And this is the finished look. Clearly, this looks disgusting, but this is where the toner comes in. So this is the consistency. I should call them. So I'm just gonna separate it the exact same way I did it last time. This doesn't need to be as um, tedious because my hair is wet, it helps it kind of spread it around the moisture, helps, I don't know, this is just what the internet says. Okay, so I do look temporarily bald, but that's fine. I've applied the color wear absolutely everywhere and now I'm just using the leftover bits to go over bits that I might have missed and to put it down towards the ends of my hair. But anyway, I'm gonna let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. See you then. Okay, so I just washed out the toner dye. I don't really know if it's a toner or a dye. Who really cares at this point? Did it work? It looks very dark, but I kind of like it. It's very silvery and I like that. Okay, so anyways, the last thing I need to do is just put in the Olaplex. So I'm just gonna apply this to all over my hair. I'm just gonna apply it with gloves. I don't really need to show you how I do that. I showed it in the last video. Then after I have this in for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna get into the shower, do a big scrub. I have the nastiest tan all here. I'm gonna shave everywhere, then we're gonna layer on the tan. So I'm out of the shower. The Olaplex is washed out. Used a purple shampoo and a lovely strengthening conditioner in the shower and the results are in. Oh, it's blurry. <laughs> Here we are. Like, I am quite proud of myself. Like, it is so blended. And I really like the color, like it's very silvery because I was kind of getting sick of just the regular kind of blonde. So I really like this kind of ashy, silvery color. But do you know what would make this look better? Tan. So the tan that we'll be using is the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Liquid Gold Everyday Dry Oil. The Bondi Sands Self Tanning Lotion in Dark. And then for my legs and anywhere that I have missed, we're gonna use the Cocoa Brown Extra Dark Mousse. I don't know how I'm gonna film this because I tan naked. Like I, I don't understand girls who like keep their clothes on when they're tanning. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> I am literally half naked sitting in front of a camera. I feel very insecure. I hate my body as it is. Why am I putting it all over the internet like this? What would we ever do without tan? Honestly, what would we do without tan? It is literally confidence in a bottle. Cause like, you know when like, when, when nightclubs are open, you would be like sending your friends, like they'd be like, oh, what are you wearing? And like, you'd try it on and send it to them. And then like, you're looking at it in the picture and you're like, Wait, it'll look nice when I have tan on. And then you put your tan on and everything's amazing. Like how can a tan make everything fine? I don't know, maybe it's just like an Irish and kind of like UK thing, cause I don't really see it happening in the US. It's just like a thing here where it's like, oh, you're sad, put on some tan. I don't know if that's a healthy like coping mechanism or not, but anyways. Okay, I'm gonna finish my tan off camera because I do have to rub it all over my ass and I'm not posting that on YouTube, nor would I post it for free. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm all bronzed. Look how much hotter I am already. You cannot tell me I am not the sexiest person alive because just look at me. Look how tanned I am. <sighs> Sorry, I just really need to get that out of my system. I just d don't know how to act when I have tan on. Moving on to the next part of the glow up. So I always get a lot of questions about my nails um, and everyone's like, oh, where do you get your nails done or where do you buy your nails? Um, I just bought a poly gel nail kit off Amazon at the start of the last quarantine and I recently bought an acrylic nail kit and I just do it all myself. I have nail tips, I have literally basically everything. And I bought all the gel colours and everything and yeah, so we're going to do my nails right now. 
I'm not doing anything fancy at all. I need to type a lot this week. I have a lot of assignments to catch up on. So we're not doing long acrylics like I have been doing. We're just gonna do regular gel on my nails. I'll show you my setup. So this is the setup we have right now. This is all of my colors. I'll actually show you them all. Like I have so many colors. I think I'm just gonna do kind of a light nude color. These are like any brushes and like files and stuff like that. This box just has like some extra bits, I just brought them out, it has like diamantes and stuff if I want to put it on. And this is the UV light, I didn't buy this separately, this came with the poly gel kit. So I'm going to do my nails off camera and I'll be back in a bit. Hi, I'm back. Nails are done, I picked the pinky colour because I don't know, I just thought it looked more natural and I did do my toes but I'm not showing you them because... So the last part of our glow up for this evening, I will be continuing tomorrow but it is like 20 to 1 and I want to go to bed. So my mom got me um, these for Christmas. It's just teeth whitening gel that you put in your retainer. You can only get this if you get it through like a dentist or an orthodontist. My retainer is in bits, like it is so ridiculously dirty and there's a hole in it and it's cracked up here. Can you see that? It's cracked. How did I even do that? So all you do is you put a dot of this stuff on each little tooth. You're not supposed to put loads because like most of it comes out the top of your retainer anyways. And then you just pop it in. Oh, I'm actually really scared because I haven't used my retainer in a while. It's gonna be sore. Oh, so I'm gonna leave this in overnight and I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Sleep tight, everyone. Good day, beautiful people. So I always get asked how I do my lashes. So I'm gonna show you. Like this has revolutionized my life. I have not paid for a set of eyelash extensions since I was 16 and I'm 19 now, so. Here are the things you're gonna need. Individual eyelashes, eyelash glue, preferably black, preferably duo glue, this is my favorite glue, eyelash curler and a tweezers. So I'm just gonna put the glue at the edge of the box. It's very important it's at the edge because it makes sure like you can actually get it on the band. So you see the way it curves kind of in like a banana? You're gonna put the front part on the glue. So it kind of looks like that. You can see the glue sitting on the front part of the curve. And you're gonna stick it underneath the eyelash, okay? Hold it there for a few seconds, then let go and then squeeze it together with your natural lashes. And there you go. This is revolutionary, girls. So if you take care of these, they will probably last about two weeks or a week. Like look how natural that looks. So when I lift this up, you can barely see that they're fake. Like, they're so natural. And like looking down, do I look hot? So I'm just gonna show you my very natural, very everyday makeup look that I would do if I wore makeup every day. I don't, that's just because I'm not going anywhere. We're in the middle of a pandemic and what's the point? So I'm using a Hyaluronic Skin Mist by Ella and Joe. And then just adding a bit of moisturizer. This is the Pixi Phenomenal Gel. I completely forgot to say, I washed off the tan this morning. So this is like the completely developed and then the icky layer washed off. So to go with our natural no makeup makeup look, we're gonna do very, very natural and fluffy brows. So taking the pencil side of this, this is the Pixi Natural Brow Duo. We're gonna draw hair like strokes on the front. I always do this anyways, no matter what way I do my brows. I hate blocky eyebrows on my days. Drawing on the hairs here and all the way down and drawing hairs up like this. And then we're gonna set the brows up with the gel side of this. This gel is absolutely unreal. Your eyebrows will not move. And there you go, the most natural, unnatural, fluffy brow you've ever seen. So I'm not gonna put on any foundation, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer here and to cover any kind of like random mass spots I have and my scarred chin. And 
to set the concealer, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is the translucent one. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Milani Dolce. I'm going to take the bronzer again and just put it along the sides of my nose and a little bit on my eyes. And now to highlight. And to finish, we're going to use the Too Faced Lip Injections Plumping Gloss. And this is the final look of our no makeup natural makeup look. Okay, so I just straightened my hair and I put on a sexy ass outfit. Are you ready to see? I think the last thing for me to do now is take some photos because did I even wear this outfit if I didn't take pictures in it? No, I didn't. Okay, so I have my ring light set up with my phone in it and we're gonna take pictures here. So I have my clicker ready and we're gonna take some bomb ass pics. How do I make my ass look big? Like how do people... that was entertaining. I'm not gonna lie, I do genuinely feel a lot better about myself. Like I'm really happy I fixed my roots, they're really really bothering me and make me feel really insecure about myself. I put on a nice outfit because I've literally been wearing the same tracksuit every single day and I actually did like something quite productive and I'm like I don't know, it's kind of made me just feel a little bit more positive. This is getting way too sappy. Anyways, I'm really glad you joined me on my glow up journey. So thank you all for watching this video and I cannot wait to make more. And I have some exciting things planned, so have a good day, subscribe down below, comment, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. I love you all. Mm.